Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here. It's another week of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. What a beautiful day for this one, huh? It certainly is. We are amongst 30 plus acres of gorgeous apple orchards. Yes, we are. We have uh, Jonathan's around us. We yep. have Liberty's. We have the Macintoshes. They're all here. And all the apples are here. We invited them all to join us today. And it's a hardcore show, let me tell you that, folks. And uh, we're going to be doing some great bison, uh, grass-fed bison. We got some beautiful black Angus to cook up Ooh, for you. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, of course, being in an apple orchard, we're going to do apples. That's right. What a great idea. <laughs> I thought so, too. I'm glad I thought of that. That's for sure. And well, how about a little bit of plank grilling? You, you know be something? Some we're we're going to do something that I hopefully no one's ever done. We're going to do some gorgeous plank bison yes. uh, with, with half squash and tis the season for vegetables tis the season to really get down and gritty and do some outdoor grilling so stay tuned mad dog and merrill's midwest grilling amongst the gorgeous oneida nation's apple orchards. and we're gonna get down and gritty hardcore apples <laughs> mad dog and merrill's midwest grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All-natural Golden Plump Chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Fat Louise Olive Oil and Door Peninsula Winery. Experience the flavor of Door Peninsula Winery. <laughs> well, Mad Dog and Merrill here, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest grilling. I'll tell you what, after that, after that wonderful tease of all the great products that we're going to be serving and grilling up today, we got to deliver. We do? Yep. So You, you mean I just can't slough off or nothing like that? Uh, you got some beautiful Thanks. ground bison. Yes, I do. And bison's very good for you, very healthy. That's the alternative for, to the regular hamburger. You know, no, hamburger Charlie would be pretty proud because as it looks like right now, I got meatballs, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, but I don't have a meatball. Yep. I'm going to be doing some stuffed bison burgers today. Ooh. I don't know. Bison is very Lean. So what you want to do when you're making the patty, since they are so very lean, I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil on the bottom here. 90% little... of all the meat products that we put on the grill, including all the bison roasts and steaks, the black Angus steaks and roasts, we put a glisten of oil on so they brown up real nice. Give me five. Nope. Oh, okay. Darn it. All right. But that really helps to make it slide. I'm just going to make a little patty here. Now these here are actually quarter pound. You know why, how I know that, sir? Nope. I'm pretty intelligent. I started out with two pounds of ground Okay, I make it nice and thin, which is really good because it'll cook a lot faster. But I'm just going to go ahead and stuff these with a little bit of jalapeno peppers. Place that right in the center there. Press that down a little bit. A little bit of mushrooms on top there. Not a whole bunch because you don't want to make a really big, big, thick burger here. Okay, I'm going to place some on there. I'll save that for the other ones that I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to. But gonna... I want a thick burger. Well, you're going to have to wait, by <laughs> golly. And a little bit of cheese, all right? I got some grated cheese here. You could use whatever you'd like. Even pepper jack would be good on here. I like a little bit of spicy. But I'm going to go ahead and form the top on there. And they're going to make a patty. You got the oil, which is really nice, and then I'll crank it really Shouldn't good. Shouldn't you have eight of those if they're quarter pounders? That's true, but you know what? These, I got some half pounders here, baby. <laughs> all right, now you just kind of crank all that I just right want to make in. sure, you know, I went to school in New London. Did I you? wasn't too sure. That's it. And that's all you have to do. I'm going to place these on the grill. Now, bison does not take that long to cook. A lot of people have a tendency to overcook it all the time. So I like to go on a nice medium heat on there, you know. And I sort of like mine a little bit on the rare side, to be honest with you. You know, I do too. And, and actually, bison really helps to lower cholesterol. It's very, very heart healthy for you. It's high, high in iron, uh, proteins. It's got the, the omega-3s in there, rich in omega-3s, so it fights the free radicals. Ah! in your system. Merrill yes. was the original free radical in the 70s, by the way. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I'm going to make a big one here, but go ahead. I actually took some of Merrill's stuffed burgers, his bison burgers, and, and I'm going to create something that's just absolutely delicious, and it's right. never been done before. Uh, uh, there's the beauty shot here, but before I do that, let me ex explain a couple things. Okay. I took a nice spud from the farmer's market. The farmer's market in Oneida uh, goes from August, from June 28th, the end yep. of June, every Thursday till October 11th. That's located at the post office off from Highway 54 uh, in Oneida. It's on Red Willow Parkway. And you can actually go to uh, the website, oneidanations.org backslash O-C-I-F-S and learn more information. But I took some beautiful bakers and I cut them into paddles. I glistened with an oil. I browned them up and I seared those up on the grill. And we're not going to use buns today. We're actually going to make a nice, beautiful platter with our potatoes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to spread these out a little bit here. All right. So these are all done to perfection. Instead of buns, beautiful. we're going to do the...
potato paddles. I took the bison burgers stuffed. I added some gorgeous sharp cheddar cheese. And we're gonna put the sharp cheddar cheese right on top with the burgers, let them melt. Yes. We're gonna add those to the top of those potatoes. It's gonna take a second, but I want a beauty shot. I want a beauty yes. shot when we're done. So now we got the- We got one right here, how's this? No, 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 I mean for the food, Meryl. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Average okay. Joe. Average, <laughs> average Joe. Now the next way, next thing I did is I took some uh, canned pineapple and I browned up some slices of pineapple and I'm gonna uh, top those with each one of those. So we got the pineapple, we got the bison burgers, we got the sharp wow. cheddar cheese. You're going for it, man. Those are all stuffed. They're on top of the potato slice. And now here's the best. You got choices, and we love choices because uh, the Junhinka store has all these great canned goods. Oh yes. And they're located over in in, in, uh, in Ridgeview Plaza, Ridgeview, Ridgeview Ridgeview Plaza on Highway 54, right behind the orchards here. Right. And and I'm gonna take a little bit of medium. Here, listen. There's freshness. Oh. I'm gonna top this one with a little medium red salsa. Oh man. We're gonna take uh, one of the the, uh, the the little bit hotter green salsa. And this would be mine of choice right here. Pop that baby open. That's been sealed at the cannery here in Oneida. We're gonna take some green salsa over the top of that. Uh, they do some wonderful, wonderful dill pickles. Oh, can I just have one? Yeah, just yeah, one, here you go. one. I know I said with on the burgers, but man, I'll tell you what, I gotta <laughs> Maybe a little this. dill pickle there. The bread and butter pickles over here. The farmer's market, you can find these canned goods each and every Thursday. Or you can go right to the Junhinka store uh, at Ridgeview Plaza in Oneida. And those, garnished to perfection, are some gorgeous bison burgers, sharp cheddar cheese, pineapple, and you got a meal in itself, a fork and a knife, and a big old napkin, and you got some stuffed bison mm. burgers that can't be beat. Right. How are the pickles? Oh, they're great. That's all they're that really matters are. to you, aren't you? Listen. I know. Low in carbohydrates. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I hey, we're going to be right back. If you think that's great, here, let's, let's do a little tease, Meryl. All right. Here, just stand this way, right here. Sure. I'm going to show you this right here. Try right. to come right back. Ooh. Oh, man. You gotta, I will be right back and we'll let you know what that one's all about. So all we'll right. be right back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill and we're gonna eat some bison burgers. All right, let's do it, buddy. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. From the rolling hills of Buffalo Bluff and the magic of traditional smoke dancing to the exquisite variety of Standing Stone Buffet and so much more in between. Oneida offers a wide variety of culture and experiences. It's all right here. Sigulli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here. We're having a wonderful time in the apple orchards of Oneida Nations. Beautiful, just beautiful. The butterflies are flying yep. in the air and it's just yeah, they, nice and peaceful. We're actually shooting this uh, first of May and it's been, as everybody knows, it's a unique sort of spring. And we've got the gorgeous apple blossoms behind us here. We've got the rolling hills of the Oneida Nations in the background. Uh, and what better time but to do some uh, great apples. I like apples. You know what, Big Apple Fest is coming up. Uh, That's right. For Oneida Nations, it's September 22nd. It's Saturday, September 22nd. We're gonna be there. That's right, come We're gonna be there all it. day long from 10 until three. It's on Highway 54 in Oneida. And, and I'll tell you what, it's a great time. Big Apple Fest, September 22nd, mark your calendars. I mean, they got, they got horse and wagon rides. Okay. They got a variety of foods and, and great tastings. They got caramel apple making. Ooh. Maybe Merrill can judge the apple pie contest. No, I would like that. I'll take that. If I could judge the apple pie contest, usually I get the stuff like squishing the apples or something. And I'm going to be out there at the uh, Oneida Farmer's Market, and I'm going to be shopping away, I'll guarantee you. But right now, we're going to do some nice little baked apples. All right. Uh, these are some wonderful Macintosh. Of course, there's the Liberties and the and the the Jonathans here and a few other varieties for the Oneida Nations. Uh, we took some wonderful wild rice and you can find that at the Junhinqua store. We took wild rice. I'm gonna add some, believe it or not, this is gonna be stuffed apples. We're really? gonna add, we're gonna add some chives, we're gonna add huh. some celery, we're gonna add some garlic and some walnut pieces. And I'm gonna kind of blend that all together. 
And normal stuffed apples are what? Brown sugar and raisins right. and butter and, yeah. and, 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 and things syrup, like that. Maple syrup in there, maybe. Maple a little syrup bit. in there. Well, today I did those. Right. I did some wonderful strawberry jam. He's always been in a jam, ladies and gentlemen. We've Not been together for 32 years. I've gotten him out of more jams, and now he's back into it again. Well, these jams are, are found here at the United Nations. This is a wonderful stuffing. I took the apples. I cored out the apples. Okay. Uh, and, and, and when you core an apple, uh, you want to core it. This is where it all leaks out. Oh, really? So you take you core it from the bottom towards the stem and it won't leak as bad. I never knew that. And, and, and here's a beauty shot over here. I'm gonna let you get a copy of that one there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the wild rice stuffed one. And I'm gonna take that, I just wanna split that open. Uh, beautiful wild rice stuffed apples, the Macintosh from the Oneida Nations. Uh, here we got a, here, let's pick a good one here. This one, this one's just bubbling with juices. Uh, this one has the raisins, the brown sugars, a Ooh. little bit of walnut in there. And all you simply do is do these apples, the indirect method of cooking, not more than 20 minutes. Uh, here's the one with the strawberry jam. That's going to be the messiest, but uh, that's, a, that's like a, a no-brainer. You mean Merrill, I could do it? That's the Merrill method. I could do that. I could do that. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, stuffed apples. Apples are, you can do so many things just besides apple pie. You, you can. can. You can apple so turnovers. Oh, man. Apple crisp. Yep, you betcha. You betcha apples. What are you doing there, Merrill? Hey, you know, it's steak time. Mm. You know, here they got some great black Angus beef. I know. I love it. And I'm doing a T-bone steak. Do you know why they call it a T-bone? No. You're kidding me. Sure I do. <laughs> okay, no, I got it. Because it's shaped like a T. Really? You had me worried there for a little bit. All right. Uh, we're going to be marinating the T-bone steaks really more for in flavor than anything else. We're not there to tenderize because this is an excellent cut of meat here. Uh, well trimmed. Got some a nice marbleization to it. Beautiful. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is, Let's obviously. Let me help make, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put that in there. Yeah, if you could do that. And you can do those several steaks. You can do this T-bone. You can do this tenderloin. Like, come on, come on, come on. There's people out there watching us. Okay. Now, believe it or I'm not. Take it home with me. I'm going to get that. Am I helping you yet? Yes, sir. About a quarter cup, uh, about the same amount of everything that you're going to use. But we're going to use about some olive oil. Good quarter of a cup of olive oil. Now you can throw a couple steaks in there. You can. You know what? Because there's put, two of us. You can even put four steaks in there. Really? Like. Now, a quarter cup. Uh, believe it or not, you're not going to believe this. Maple syrup. You the maple syrup there. is tapped right here at United Nations. Mm, well, this is what I like when you can do this. You can find that at the farmer's market, mm. that maple syrup. You can get it at the Junhinqua store at Stone Ridge. Mm, nope. Very good. At Ridge View. Uh-huh. And now we've got some balsamic vinegar. Really? Quarter cup. And then the big thing on this, that's enough. This or not? Okay, no, one, no, more, one more. Some Dijon mustard. Really? Oh, that's Now you got the uh, maple syrup in there to get a really nice sweetness. It'll caramelize it just really, really good. About a quarter cup on that. All right. Mix that all together. Stick it in the refrigerator for a good hour or two, whatever. Stick it in there. Leave it in there. Don't peek at it whatsoever. Oh boy, now you got but me going. But the steak comes out absolutely excellent every time on there. No matter of fact, they've got one on right now. I'm going to take that off. There you go. There you be. Woo, man. There's the caramelization there on the steak. Let it set for three to four minutes. I can't wait that long, but you're supposed to let it sit three or four minutes. That's like a guy my size, 230 pounds, set a T-bone steak in front of go, now you gotta wait four minutes, but let it rest. It'll come out really nice and juicy. All right, now here's a great way. We're gonna do a little plank cooking right now, real right. fast. Uh, on the grill, I have a, a wonderful roast of, of bison. And this happens to be the, the black Angus. And what I did is I opened up the package, I glistened it with a little oil, I put strips of, I put garlic over the top mm. of that and, and made slits and put garlic in there, put strips of bacon over the top. And, here, and here's a great way to do plank cooking. I'm gonna slow down right now. All right, take it uh, easy. This is, this, is, this is oak right here. And you can use untreated lumber, any type of untreated lumber if you want to. I actually went to a hardware store, a lumber yard, and I got cedar. And this is treated, untreated cedar, any untreated lumber. I cut the sizes I wanted. What you do is you prep your roast, or you can do it the same with Merrill's T-bone steaks. And all you simply do is take the plank right out of the water. You take the roast. Here, back away there. All right, okay, oh, okay. Oh, man. Gorgeous, man. And I put some bacon over the top. Let's see if I can do this without Ooh. any trouble. Oh. Mmm. I'm gonna set that right down. That board's probably gonna crack. Let me show you the squash first. I never did, uh, I took squash, I glistened it with an oil and we put that on with a plank and I got the squash at the farmer's market. 
And I'm going to cut into this gorgeous buffalo roast right now. Oh, yeah? Yep, good luck. Oh, oh perfect. Just perfect. Look at that. Just, a, just oh. a, a little bit of redness, a beautiful medium. Uh, the, the bison roasts are so delicious. You know, they're low in cholesterol. They're heart healthy for you. They're high in iron and protein. Omega 3s just, just oozing out of there, those beautiful omega fight. Uh, free radicals. Uh, so that's a great way to do plank cooking. That took approximately an hour and 10 minutes on the plank. It did. Right, yes, around, it right did. around an hour and 10 minutes. But yep. we, we kind of fired it up on high heat to get the char going and then slowed it down. Uh, but with our beautiful squash, mm. we're going to have squash and beautiful bison, some beautiful baked apples, marrow steaks. Healthy. We are going to eat healthy ready. today. Eat wait. good. And I'll tell you what, don't forget Big Apple Fest, September right. 22nd. Mad Dog and Merrill are going to be there. It's in Oneida. Lots of family fun. Emphasis on family fun. Yeehaw! <laughs> and then and Rhea, the, the, the trick horse, is going to be there. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We got are you going to bring your shovel? You know, I got a job for you. Since the trick horse is going to be there. Flipping the apple pies? Yep. No, I'll be flipping more than apple pies, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we're going to have a great time. We're going to be right back to segment number three in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, let's eat that bison. That's okay. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. From the rolling hills of Buffalo Bluff and the magic of traditional smoke dancing to the exquisite variety of standing stone buffet and so much more in between, Oneida offers a wide variety of culture and experiences. It's all right here. Saguli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. Fire up that grill. Wisconsin grillers can find Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these fine retailers or online at maddogandmerrill.com. Happy grilling. Products, recipes, and accessories as seen on today's show can be found by clicking on featured products at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend Mad Dog and Merrill on Facebook. Happy grilling. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grillin'. I'm Chef Elena Schiltz at the Dockside Tavern in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm here to throw down a challenge for Mad Dog and Merrill to recreate our special Bam Bam shrimp recipe. Here at the Dockside, what makes our shrimp so special is the sauce. First, we start by coating the shrimp in a cornstarch breading to make them nice and light and crispy when we flash fry them. Then, when we take them out of the fryer, we toss them in a sweet, creamy, spicy Thai chili sauce. They go well by themselves as an appetizer or as a salad. Well, Mad Dog and Merrill, now it's your turn. Bam. Well, the nerve of that Chef Elena. Did you hear that? She challenged us. She did? Yeah, she doesn't think, Elena, that we can make Bam Bam chicken as good as they do at Dockside Tavern. You mean Elena at the Dockside Tavern? On, on Nebraska Street in Oshkosh. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, their menu is just fantastic. They got excellent burgers, they got sandwiches, they got salads. Plus, you know what I like every day? Fish fry. I know. I this, is, this is Wisconsin. So she challenged us. She did. She did. Whoa. So I'm going to do Bam Bam shrimp right now. Okay. We're going to do ours as a nice little hors d'oeuvre. All right. Sounds good. Now, you know, the, the, the dockside has a wonderful large bar. I was in there when they were remodeling. It's just gorgeous. It's fashioned after a, a Chris Craft wooden boat. And you never invited me. It was great. You should see the decorated walls with all the boat motors, I the props, imagine. and everything else. Yeah. It's a wonderful time. The outside deck. Yep at the dockside phenomenal but here's bam bam shrimp let me tell you that now she said it's a, it's a sweet chili thai sauce okay so i took a little bit of chili sauce all right i'm gonna add a little bit of our spicy which is a habanero based barbecue sauce we're gonna add here, here's the bam okay you ready, ready meryl yep bam 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 shrimp that's, bam bam that's, bam. that's, that's cayenne pepper <laughs> so we're going to mix that up very, very well. So we have the cayenne pepper, we have the chili sauce. Now the sweetness is going to be a little maple syrup. All right. Oh, that's going to be great. I'll tell you. I so a little bit of maple, maple syrup. syrup. Merrill, do you want to you deck me up a little shrimp back there, please? Oh, I could do that, sir. The dockside in Oshkosh, it's a great time. All summer long, beautiful deck on the outside. You can eat outside. You can see the beautiful Fox River. You can actually go online at Dockside Tavern, DocksideTavern.com. Uh, we did ours at grilled shrimp on skewers. And I'm just going to use this, my little Bam Bam sauce, bam. As, a, as a finishing sauce. But you folks, you can go and you can test out their menu and you can order your own Bam Bam shrimp at Dockside in Oshkosh and see Chef Elena 
and tell her we did an okay job yeah. too, would you bam. please? We'll be right back. Bam, bam. 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 That looks bam, good. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Oh, bam. Bam. That looks good. Don't forget the June Hinkla Seed and Plant Distribution. It's the first Saturday in May from 10 until 2 p.m. You can pick up some great wax beans, beets, onion sets, all kinds of great plants for your garden. And of course, the Harvest and Husking Bee, October 6th through 12th from 9 until 5. You can go online at oneidanation.org slash O-C-I-F-S to learn more. Happy planting. And we'll see you at the June Hinkwa Seed and Plant Distribution in May. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at mandogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Join us every Sunday morning for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. MHP, Phoenix, and Profire grills and accessories as seen on today's show are available at these fine retailers. Go to modernhomeproducts.com for special option packages or to find a dealer location near you. Well, I'll tell you what, we've had a great time here amongst the beautiful apple orchards. Oh, like I said earlier, it's absolutely beautiful out here, and I can't wait for apple season to start. You know, in mid-August, mid-August, you come to Oneida, you go to the orchards, and you can pick your own apples. You can have a great time. They have oodles and oodles and baskets and baskets of different apples. Uh, don't forget, we're going to be at Big Apple Fest. Yes. It's a family fun event. That's September 22nd. It's a Saturday. We'll be there from 10 to 3. We're going to be there the whole time, but it's it's free family fun. That's what it's all about is free family fun. That the is three for apps, sure. Yes, yes, it is. Everybody's welcome to come and join us. And, for that. and many thanks for the good folks in Minnesota. Yep. Peoria, Illinois market over there with, with uh, Bloomington and Normal. Normal, yep, I'm normal. Those good folks, you're right. not normal. Yes, I am. No, 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 right no, no. next That's to Bloomington. Down in Illinois. Okay, gotcha. But uh, don't forget to go online at Oneida Nation, oneidanation.org slash O C I F S. Happy grilling, folks. Happy Peace grilling. and love. We'll see you later. All right. Woo, Boy, good time. Beautiful day. It was. Really I'm good ready time. to eat. Howdy! Grill Billy's Mad Dog and Merrill here, letting you know all about our new grilling shack. Yeah, it's the grilling shack at Kepsel's Farm Market, Highway 57, Bailey's Harbor, in beautiful Door County. Great grilled vittles. Old fashioned ice cream floats. Tummy fun filled for the whole family. The Grill Shack, opening soon. Join us every Sunday morning for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Bam! Bam, that bam, looks bam, good. bam, 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 bam. Oh, bam it. Bam it. Bam it. What the bam it's going on here? Oh, bam, bam, shrub, so bam it. Damn bam it's going on there. Bam, bam, so bam, much bam, that's going to be good. I've been bam it all my life. I remember the first time I said bam it, my dad, but yeah, my dad. I can hear Tom. One of those guys shut up. It's easy, Pete. Fire up that grill. Try